All right, YouTube. I got a fun one for us today. Look what it is. It's one of these. They even make the key cool. So here it is, the Porsche Panamera. This is a special Panamera. This is a 2014 Panamera SE Hybrid which I think is super, super cool. I'm excited to review this car uh, in beautiful GT Silver. And what stands out, um, what makes this kind of special is the hybrid system. Um, it's still a Porsche first and foremost, which I think is awesome. I love on this car just the, the subtle styling cues. Um, you can always tell the hybrids by their big huge green calipers and then they give you the green um, outline around their emblems which is cool so you've got several different panameras i think this year there's nine different options not in the 2014 and the 2018 i think there was like six or something in 2014 but i think this might be the best one i really do i think it has a good mix of you know, practicality and usability, um, performance, luxury, prestige, kind of all those things that a guy looking at a Porsche is, is going for. Now this isn't some, uh, this isn't saving the planet and it is uh, definitely if you're buying a Porsche, you're probably buying it more for the prestige and the looks and the overall performance and feel. Um, but I do think, you know, there's a place for it. This is this, this thing MSRP'd for 110 grand. So, you know, it's not a cheap car, but you know, anybody looking at a Porsche, you know, the competitors are like your S class, your seven series, your Audi A8. And so I think, you know, these guys are already expecting to spend a little money. And I definitely, the Panamera at first, I wasn't sure, um, how I liked it, but honestly, it's grown on me. I think it's probably one of the most beautiful uh, cars on the market today. And I know that's like total hit and miss. I think some people think the Panamera is ugly. I absolutely love it. It's just a beautiful design. Uh, looks a lot like their key actually, which is, which is awesome. There you go, it's the Panamera. But uh, anyway, sweet. So let's start off at the, on the outside at the front of the car here. I always, I don't know what it is, but I just, I love Porsche's emblems. They're just, ugh, they're just beautiful. All right, so let's go on these, these lights. Everybody's making the coolest lights nowadays. You've got your four little, little LEDs around it and then your um, HID in the front of the light, which I think looks awesome. This GT Silver, man, this color, this color is, is just beautiful. You got your LED fog light. These are your 20 inch, these are, these come off the turbo model. So this is an upgraded wheel. These things start out MSRP at about 99,000, I think somewhere around there. And this one has about $10,000 worth of options. So these beautiful turbo 20 inch, I believe these are 20, yeah, 20 inch wheels. Um, like this little duct here, I think it looks really good and how they carry the line kind of all the way through. And it just has this great looking Great looking just front fender. I don't know, I love that. Um, I like the painted wheel. I like how it's actually painted gray. Um, and then it's like the machine finish on the outside. You've got your little wing here that comes up and down, uh, which I also think is a really cool touch. You can kind of close it up and have it kind of chill. I think at around 75 miles an hour, it comes up automatically. And then of course, sure. Uh, your quad pipes so you've got your dual your dual exhaust um, I think that's something that's really cool about this Panamera is that even though it's a, even though it's a hybrid SE Panamera S which I think it's cool there's nothing on this car besides those subtle cues besides those subtle cues that tell you that say you know like the Nissan Leaf or something that's an electric car like I'm sorry but it, it looks nerdy this does not. So this is for the guy that, 
you know, that still wants a Porsche and still wants to be able to drive and have a, a fun, nice drive. But when you're stuck in traffic in the city, you know, you have, you have a little bit of range on all electric that you can just cruise. And it just kind of makes sense. I guess if you had, you know, if you had a lot of money, you know, the turbo is pretty cool. But I don't know, I think this might be the coolest model of all the Panameras because of all the versatility in it. But anyways, I love the like, I guess in Germany they almost call this a shooting brake kind of. I guess it's not a full hatch, but it is awesome looking. Just a beautiful car. Subtle things that I like. You can't really see it very good with this wing up, but the button for the hatch is on the wiper. I know that's something little, but I think it, <laughs> I think I love all those little touches where like it's just stealthy and just works. Nice cargo area. Um, decent size with the hatch it's a decent size cargo area definitely could go on a nice you know a nice little road trip in this car and have a good time um soft close so, let's see anyways it's just it's just a beautiful car it has some serious road presence um we'll get into some more of the technical things on the drive but just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it I'm excited for the driving portion. I love how their console goes all the way through the car. So you've got basically four captain's chairs. Um, they call this a, a gate gray. It's almost a brown to me. Uh, and it's another great, whoever chose the colors on this car did a good job. Another great, great uh, looking interior. Let's take a quick look at the inside. I do like these, just like a 7 Series or an S-Class, you've got the door strut, so wherever you put the door, it'll hold it for you. So if you're on a hill getting your groceries out or something, it's always wherever you stop that door, it's going to stop it. Porsche thing, key, key's always on the left side, it seems like on most Porsches or all Porsches. Uh, let's take a quick look at this. A lot of buttons but I like it. It's a really cool kind of jet fighter cockpit. Definitely, you kind of step down into the Porsche, um, which is cool. Uh, you, you feel uh, very encapsulated in this car. Like it's like a really nice cockpit. Love this piano black finish. Um, just beautiful quality. A Porsche, they're the most profitable car company out there and you kind of get why they they just do it better like they made a hybrid and they made it cool like that's freaking awesome and then they just they do they do good quality stuff they have standards for what they're going to put out and uh you know people are willing to pay for it and it's just it's a cool car and a cool car company they're doing a good job i'm definitely becoming a big porsche fan let's take a look at these gauges so here is your battery gauge. This is your battery like power basically, how much power you're using, your RPM gauge, and there's your multi gauge, and then your uh, gas gauge down there. So you have all these different, these different modes. You got your sport mode, your suspension button, your air lift, your e-charge, so you can actually charge the battery and this is pretty unique to Porsche because of the way the hybrid system works the way the coupler works and uh, so you can charge you can do e-power you can turn everything just to let it decide what's most efficient if that's the way you want to go honestly it's really fun to keep messing with the buttons there's probably too many but I'm always like changing the modes and stuff it's it's super fun I've driven this for a few days and gotten decently familiar with it um, love the green gauges. Another thing, they kind of carry that green through the cabin, even on your sport chrono clock. It's just super cool. Um, again, awesome, awesome four seater configuration. Um, we've got, let's see, so I go, I'll go over some of the technical specs. Let's take a look at the motor real quick. Uh, ZF 8-speed transmission, kind of the staple for a lot of these German car companies. Great transmission in this car. 
kind of different. Most car, most Porsches come with their PDK. So this is their eight speed automatic. So let's take a look at the motor. All right, so it's got a fancy looking cover on it, but this is basically an Audi S4 motor. This is their uh, three liter V6 supercharged engine making 333 horsepower uh, combined. Let's see, I think it was a 136 horsepower. No, it's a 90. I think it's a 96 horsepower electric motor. So, and then the combined horsepower is 416 and 435 foot-pounds of torque. So they stole some, they stole basically the, well, they didn't steal it, but they took the engine from Audi and the transmission from an Audi. So this would come in a A6 supercharged or an Audi S4. And so it's been an awesome engine, actually. Anytime I buy an Audi product, I usually look for this combination. It's a great drivetrain. It's proven. And it's cool to see it in the Porsche. And it's cool to have kind of two types of power in this car. That's really special about this car is that literally you can be on the gas engine, you can be on the electric motor, you can put them together. So you really get kind of a good driving experience, kind of whatever you want. If you just want to chill in traffic, you got that. If you want to, you know, give it some gas, it's got some good power. All right. Well, super excited to do the driving portion of this, so. Let's get to it, but there it is. GT Silver, a gate gray, which is almost a brown interior. It's just a beautiful car. Um, and I think it might be the best Panamera to buy, especially used, they're, they're a bargain. Again, I'm kind of a three-year-old baller and these cars are a good value, I feel like, um, on the used market. So pretty freaking sweet. All right, let's go do a drive. All right, let's go for a ride in this 2014 Panamera SE Hybrid. Let's start her up. So the first thing is when you start it up, it starts in e-power mode. So it's on, it's active, but it feels just like a you know regular electric car. Oh, doors open. Um, which I love. You kind of start out, you know, just cruising from my shop and stuff. We're going to be in some traffic. Thought it'd be fun to kind of do some city driving in this, and then we'll we'll hit the canyon too. But it's super uh, super peaceful, like other electric cars, and just kind of docile. Very nice um, suspension on this car. The air suspension is super luxury on this guy. It feels great. Um, really comfortable ride. You can just see the car kind of floating over stuff and it is it is great. Um, so electric mode, we're all we're in all electric mode. 12 to 20 miles on range. Um, it's a little low. I wish I wish it had a little bit more. It's got a 9.4 kilowatt battery but it's moving 4,600 pounds. So it's not, that's the, that's the one thing about this car is it, a bit, it is a bit heavy. With adding all the extra systems, you definitely get a, you get a little bit of weight on that too. So definitely has a little bit more weight to it. But it's cool, so they tuned the throttle pedal to kind of have like a wall. So like you hit the wall and that's the extent of your electric power. But if you need more, if you're trying to get out in a traffic or something, you need more power than that, you can push through the wall, which is, which is awesome. So I like that about it. Um, as far as power in all electric mode, it's decent. It's not like, it's not gonna knock your socks off. It's not a Tesla as far as like, you know, power in all electric mode, but I kind of feel like it's adequate. You're stuck in traffic. We're just cruising right now. We don't need, I'm not trying to do zero to 60 in traffic, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, not, it's, it's adequate. It's not a crazy amount of power. Um, 
but I do love that it's just, we're, we're starting out in kind of silent stealth mode. Nobody else knows that this is really a hybrid unless you unless you tell them. They just think it's a cool Panamera, you know, with green brakes. And I like that about this car. Um, yeah, people just think it looks awesome. They just think it's a really cool Porsche um, with, with some cool style to it. Um, you can't tell what the thing's doing. The, the tuning on, the calibration on the electric and the gasoline engine and the brakes and everything, because it's all like, you know, it's all hybrid tech. The calibration is amazing. The way they've got everything to kind of mesh so well and be so seamless um, in between the two, in between the two different types of drivetrains, it's just incredible. So really just drives like a normal car. First electric car that I've driven that shifts gears. So you can keep your electric motor always in your kind of peak efficiency, which is kind of cool, but you do have a transmission, extra weight, extra things to, to guess go wrong maybe, but, but it is cool. I like that it shifts gears. And you can get up to about 80 miles an hour in all electric mode, um, which is cool too. It's got a decent amount of speed um, to it with the electric capacity, and that's probably because it can shift. Let's see, what else? So, so yeah, I love it, man. I love the fact that I can kind of go run a quick errand and use my 12 to 20 miles worth of range and come back and plug in. And it's probably, it's probably one to two hours, probably about two hours of charging time on a fast, on a 220 or a 240 charger. Um, but really, for me, and it's gonna depend on the person, for me, I don't do a lot of freeway commuting. It's mostly in the city, to this shop, to that shop, to the store, to the movies, to dinner. And so, for me, back and forth, it's gonna be pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get good economy on it. And I, I guarantee people that are buying this car aren't necessarily looking at the economy. I mean, it matters somewhat, but it's a $110,000 car. Economy is not your number one it's probably not your number one reason why you're buying a Panamera. Um, but even if you don't care as much about economy, it is cool that you're getting, I think this car, so this car over 6,200 miles got 46 miles to the gallon. So that's respectable. It's a 4,600 pound car and they average 46 miles to the gallon. And I think that's pretty cool. I, that's pretty impressive. It really is. And. I think the difference between this and like a Tesla or something else, there is no limits to it. You can fill the car up. It's got a ton of power at zero to 16, 5.2 seconds. You know, when I, when you get on it, it, it goes and it feels good. It feels, it feels like a Porsche, you know, Porsche did a good job of making a car with some cool tech to kind of get better gas mods. And I'm sure they did it to kind of have their average you know, their average gas miles go up over their range. There was a bunch of regulation in place. But I don't think they, I think they took it serious at the same time. I think they, you know, this is basically, this is 918 tech, it's dumbed down. It's not gonna be the same as the 918, but it's similar technology. You know, it's, it's mating an electric motor, a transmission, and a gasoline engine together. Um, and it's really cool tech. And I think, I personally think that this is probably the, the near future. I think we're gonna get a lot of cars with a 40 to 50 mile range on electric that also can have a gasoline engine. So gasoline is super efficient on the highway, cruising on the highway. So hopefully those cars, you know, will get emissions out of cities and have great, peaceful, quiet cars in a city. And then when we get up on the highway, we can rip, you know, we can cruise, use a little bit of gas. We have all this gasoline infrastructure. I kind of think it makes sense. So I think in the, in the long term, maybe there's gonna be more electric, like full electric cars. But I think in the short term, the next 10 to 20 years, I think you're gonna see a lot of this type of technology personally. And I think it works really well. And I think it's gonna give you kind of the most efficient balance for the type of driving that you're doing. Um, and I love it cause like, I, I definitely love the combination. The one thing about like, so I drive, I still drive an i3 daily. The one thing about it, and I do love that car, that car's great, but the one thing about that car is that you still, even though you know it's so good, I still miss kind of punching an internal combustion engine and kind of 
you know, getting some revs and getting like that feeling. I miss the feeling. Um, electric cars have a cool feeling too, but I miss the feeling of just getting out and going. And I think that's what's cool with this car is it kind of hits all the marks. Like I can cruise, you know, in electric mode to the grocery store and just be peaceful and talk on my Bluetooth or whatever. It's super quiet in here too, by the way. The sound deadening is amazing. But when I'm ready to go for, you know, for a run up the canyon or something and I wanna have a little more fun and a little more power, I've got that too. So I like that about this car is like you kind of, you've got this touring car that is efficient and can just cruise around town super luxury and super nice. But you can also go and rip. And so I think, I think that makes it pretty special. I really do. And uh, definitely for the price, these are in, these are, you know, in the low 50s now with, this is three years old with 30,000 miles. So a pretty crazy value. You know, people are going looking at Tesla Model 3s for 60,000 bucks. You know, there's some cool stuff out there. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. So. Um, I don't know. I like it. They don't. They didn't, there's not a lot of these out there though. So there's probably only 1,500 of these on the road in America. They made probably 500, I believe, 500 about approximately a year for three years. So there's not a ton of these out there. So if you get one, you're kind of like one of the the lucky few. There's not a there's not a bunch of these Panameras. They don't make a ton of Porsche. Doesn't make a ton of cars in general. Um, and so yeah, this is a limited, definitely a limited production car. Um, all right, so let's hit the, let's try some different modes. So that was, we cruise all electric mode, super quiet, super peaceful, seamless operation. They did such a good job on their tuning. I'll just say it again, it's just, just great. Um, I love this cabin, I love all the buttons. I love the way I feel in this car. Um, it just feels like an awesome, I don't know man, the Porsche, the Porsche, they just, they do their ergonomics and their fit and finish so well. And it's just such a quality, quality car. So let's throw it into Sport. Um, let's stiffen up the suspension. So with Sport, now we've got all 333 horsepower um, of the engine and the 96 horsepower, I believe, of the electric motor. So 416 combined is what it is you don't get all of each you kind of combined you lose a little bit but it's awesome it just it'll go uh, i think 0 to 60 like i said i think is 5.2 seconds and it's just a tour man so one of the negatives of of this car would probably be the weight i think weight is one of the most important things in a, any car i think that's why the i3 is so good is because it's so light but with that said being that it's a big car, kind of a touring car, it feels so on the road and, and just planted and so nice. And there's just, it's just got a great luxury feel to it. I think that's what weight does for you. It gives you like a very luxurious feel um, and just very planted and very good. These only came in two wheel drive. The brand new 2018s came in all wheel drive and they're another 200 pounds heavier, which would make sense. They also have a bigger battery. You know, but if you've seen my other videos, you know I don't love all wheel drive. Um, I prefer two wheel drive. In a big car though, that is the exception. This isn't, to me, this isn't some racetrack car. I know some people may take it on that, but this is an Autobahn Cruiser. This is a freeway machine a luxury business professional i don't know just cool kind of all-arounder um grand touring car and so on this car i actually wouldn't care if it had all drive because i'm not trying to drift corners in a panamera so it's uh it'd be cool with all drive too um yeah so with it stiffened up and in sport mode i've got a little traffic here but it just it rips um and zero to 60 numbers are a little teeming. They're kind of, they're, I wouldn't say they're low, but it feels faster once you're moving. So when you're already rolling and you give it gas, it's got this rush of power and it's a very different feel of horsepower and torque with the, with the combination. You can feel the, uh, you can feel the difference. It's not just one or the other, it's kind of both. And it's really cool. Another thing I've kind of noticed, so like we're cruising at like 1800 RPMs here. You can't see the gauge, sorry. But on my electric power gauge, when I modulate kind of that just light throttle, 
it just is adding a little bit of electric power instead of really messing with the engine RPM. So it's really cool tuning that they can they can sit there and adjust between the two powertrains. And I just think it's brilliant. It's just brilliant engineering and uh, just really cool. And uh, yeah, I think this is the best Panamera. I, I was thinking about it. Panamera Turbo, sure, it rips it. It's super fast, but you just don't have that much road nowadays, unless you've got just open Autobahn, you know, where you can just really get out and rip. It just doesn't really make sense. And this is cheaper used than a Panamera S, so for sure I would take it over a Panamera S because this has all the power that a Panamera S has, and then all the cool, all the cool hybrid and electric tech in it. So why would you not? Why would you not just want the extra? It feels just as good, and you get more. So I would definitely, I think this is the coolest Panamera. I think if you are looking for a used Panamera, if you can find any hybrid, they're awesome. They're awesome. I think uh, they're overlooked a little bit, and I think it's probably the best one. Let's do some. Let's do some. Yeah, just great rush. A rush of torque. Just crazy. Just ripping up to 100 miles an hour in two seconds in this thing, man. It's, it's insane. Um, and super quiet and comfortable. Great sound detonating in the Porsche Panamera. Just... Uh, deadening. It has a really quiet cabin. Um, really a nice place to be. Okay, so we used about a half tank of electric getting to the canyon. Um, we're getting some sport driving here. Let's hit these twisties. This is nice. This is one of my favorite parts of the canyon. A little bit of roll, um, but not bad. You know, the air suspension is such good tuning. It really does stiffen up well when you put it in sport mode and stays pretty flat. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome, man. It's a really, it's a really well-built car. I'm just so impressed how, how good they mended all the technologies together in this car. I think they just did an amazing job um, doing that, just balancing them all out. All right, so we're at about 50% battery right now. Let's go ahead and throw it into e-charge mode. So let's talk about e-charge mode. So let's say you're in the city, um, you're in your home city, you go and you run your 10, 15 miles of errands on electric mode, then you gotta go to a city that's 30 minutes away and do you have a business meeting. On the way to that city, you throw it in e-charge mode on the highway, keeping your emissions and stuff out of the city. You cruise to that city. By the time you get there, you've got full battery. And now you're back in the city environment that you're stuck in traffic anyway, where you can't punch it anywhere anyway. And you're cruising on all electric mode. I love it. It's just, it's just awesome technology. Elect electric motors are more efficient in the city and gasoline is more efficient on the highway. So you're just getting the best of both worlds. And I love that you can charge it. So let's flip around here. We'll throw it in sport mode. Get a good zero to 60 here. Man, it goes. It goes, like I said, I don't think the zero to 60 is fair. Like once this thing is moving, it, it gets going in a hurry. Um, okay, so we'll cruise back down. Let's throw it back into charge mode. Give us your, ourselves a little charge. Anyways, it's just a great, it's a great car. It's a car that I don't feel like a lot of people know about. And I, you know, I think Porsche deserves props for doing it right. Um, I'm sure it was partly because they needed to get there they're lying down on gas mods, but it is a very usable car. Um, the downsides would be weight. It is a little heavy. It does feel nice on the highway, but it is a little heavy. And it's just gonna be tough over the years. I think battery tech's gonna get a lot better, a lot lighter. I also think, you know, just building materials are gonna get better. Um, and they'll be able to get the weight down in these. But considering what it can do, it's actually not too heavy. Um, 
What other downsides, downsides? I wish the battery was a little bigger. You know, this is just me nitpicking. I wish it had a little more range. 10 to 15, you're close, but I wanna see like 40 or 50 mile range. I think you do that, you have cars with a 40, 50 mile range that are still fun and still fast when you combine the two, the motor and the engine together. I think you're really gonna be onto something there. I think you're gonna save, you're gonna have all that you're gonna have less pollution, great city drive, um, and then you can get out on the highway and still rip. And I think that's really gonna be the key. Get it, give us 40, 50 mile range. Um, I wish the electric motor had a little bit more power. So just a little bit more horsepower. It's not bad, it does okay. I wish it had a little more on electric mode. Um, but again, it is for kind of just city cruising. Um, what else? I don't know. I wish there was more available for people. I wish more people could access a cool car like this. Um, so hopefully with just, you know, these are the first ones kind of coming out, but I think you're going to see more and more of this. I think it's going to become, I think these manufacturers are going to do more of this type. They're definitely going to have their all electrics too. Um, there's a lot of all electrics coming too, but I, man, I, I don't know. You know, everybody's driving situation is different, but this definitely works for me. Um, they addressed a lot of these concerns with the brand new um, Panamera 4 SE Hybrid. It has a 14.1 kilowatt battery. It has a little bit more horsepower in the electric motor. It's all wheel drive, which is cool, but it's a little heavier. Um, I think it does like 20 to 30 miles. So it's, you know, it's a little bit better. Um, that's when it was the PDK in the new one. So they've definitely put a lot of development into it and uh, it's cool technology. I told you it's an Audi engine and a ZF transmission, which means literally they can put this tech in all your Audis, all kinds of cars they could, they could retrofit this system to, which is pretty awesome. They made a system that they can kind of throw in almost any configuration, which is super impressive. But yeah, I don't know. I love it. I love the Porsche Panamera and if you're in the market for a beautiful luxury car with some prestige that's quality well built um that's that's super techy and cool and fun man it might be a porsche panamera i over a seven series or an s class you know or that an audi a8 this car has cool factor too it's just cool you know kids gonna see this car and be like that car is cool and so it's not like a total tech fest. This one, I don't. This one doesn't have any of the driver's assistance stuff. I know it does. Some of them do come with it, but man, it's a pleasure to drive. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my Panamera SE Hybrid review. I love the car. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment. Please like and subscribe. All right, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks.